I'd like to take a brief moment to show you some of the advanced features of Unified Service Desk. As you can see, there's a button on the control bar for Dashboard. I already have the Dashboard open by default when Unified Service Desk opens, and it shows me some key information uh, as an agent to look at. I can also look at my own work. By clicking on this button, I open a new tab, and I can see my list of phone calls that I have assigned to me and items that are available for me to work on if I have queues set up. I'm also able to do a search. Anything that is marked with global will stay with you no matter what session you're in. You can close these tabs at any time. While I'm on the global search, I can choose to search accounts, contacts, cases, activities, and queues quite simply. So I can go to contacts. I can look at the cases that are open. And I can open up third-party applications. We'll come back to this in just a moment. The first thing I'd like to do is while I'm on an active account, I'm going to click on Blue Yonder Airlines. And you can see I'm already opening up that account inside of a new session. My call script is opening on the left. I have some basic information from a quick view form embedded inside of USD. No matter what tab I go to while I'm inside of this session, this basic information will be available to me on that left side. The first step of my call script is to select the customer. While I'm on Blue Yonder information, while I'm on Blue Yonder Airlines, I'll select the answer, select the customer. And you can see what it's immediately going to do is related to Blue Yonder, it's going to open up the primary contact related to Blue Yonder and all their associated cases. So I could quickly look at who it is I should probably talk to at Blue Yonder, look at all of their associated cases. I can change to look at all active or all in existence. I can go back to the account tab and I can quickly look at their primary contact, their full list of contacts, I can look at their active entitlements. I know that they have an opportunity that's open at the moment where they're looking to restock. And I'm also a little concerned about that opportunity because we have two recent cases that are still active. Next what I'm going to do is perhaps uh, Sydney is calling in for a new service request or she's calling on that existing service request that we looked at. I'm just going to click on new service request. And you can see my call script has changed here and I've been taken back to the account tab. I'm going to create the case and you can see a new tab has been opened which is an incident and it will fill in the customer and the contact for me already. Clicking on my next step in the script I can select the product. The idea here is that we're trying to guide your agent to fill in all the forms that we are important to us and minimize the amount of form scrolling and clicking, but just by clicking on select the product, my cursor has already been put into the product field on this incident. So I'm going to do my search. I'm going to say that the product is an explore, explorer. My case title is issue with issue with explorer. I'm going to verify that there is an entitlement. I can see that there is a standard entitlement available for Blue Yonder and we're going to apply the standard, standard entitlement. In this case, they have 10 cases that are available to them in this time period and this will consume one of their cases as soon as I create this new case. Um, so I can save this. I can search for a solution and when I search for a solution it takes me into another string on the answers and, and questions on my call script. So the very first thing it, do, it does is it takes the title of my case and it does a Bing search for Issue with Explorer. I can also look in my Knowledge Base articles. You can see an Articles tab has already opened up. There are no published articles currently available, but I can look at all the articles. Many of them are in draft form, and I could attach these articles to this case. So search for a solution for the account. What this would do is it would bring my articles tab into focus rather than me having to browse over to here. Um, I'll go back to the all articles. I'll double click on my article to select one to open it up. What I can do is I can go back to my call script and you can see there are multiple call scripts available. I'm going to go back to my new service request for account which brings me back out of my branch I can send an email straight out of CRM using templates that are pre-created for me as an agent in, uh, in CRM. I can resolve the case and it will automatically change the status of the new case that I've created to resolved. Because my cases 
updated. I can't update my notes anymore. And if I'm done with this session, I can close it, and it will close out all of my windows so I don't have to close them individually or worry about coming up here to close this session. If another call had come in, or if I do a search for, let's say, a contact, I can create another session and I start all over with my new script. I haven't lost my after a call or after contact work items on Blue Yonder, so I can come back to that to update my notes and close out some windows. Um, but while I'm on the call with Conrad, I can start a whole new process. Aside from just in-contact integration functions and the advanced power of Microsoft Dynamics CRM, I'd also like to show you how we can bring in some of the third-party applications. So I currently have an ADATUM Corporation account session open. What I can do is while I'm on ADATUM, I can go up to Applications, and I can locate the customer. All this is doing is it's bringing up an Internet Explorer tab that automatically takes the address of the customer and does a Bing search for me. While I'm on the same session, I can also go in and I can go to a customer information system. This is a third-party executable that's installed on the agent desktop that I'm calling inside of Unified Service Desk. It's going to take my ADATUM Corporation sample name and it's going to search for it automatically, as you can see, and it's going to pull up that record inside of this third-party application where I can look at their fees and commissions that we've earned off of them as a possibility. Um, it's totally dynamic. What we're doing is we're embedding the third-party executable inside of Unified Service Desk. As you can see, I can interact with it. I could do a new search if I wanted to. It's as if I have opened that program, but I have one single sign-on, and everything is embedded inside of one tab. And I can go off to other tabs and come back, and my third-party executable is still there. Work queues, entitlements, service level agreements, case or lead routing, agent scripting plus product, scheduling, and service taxonomy, all functions that are native to Microsoft Dynamics CRM, can be leveraged in USD. You can configure these functions yourself, or we can support you in your effort to improve your sales or customer service experience, agent experience, and productivity. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions or like additional information, please reach out to Customer Dynamics.